I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to focus on identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a three. We'll be west. I will get 13 random tiles. Jokers, single north, three dots. Four bams, two pair, and then single cracks. What would you play and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I would play a year hand building around one nine. I would keep the twos because we have options for a mixed suit. Second hand down under the year category. One nine, two zero, one nine. These could be helpful for the white dragons that are missing. I think I would pass those three. It's a little risky passing three six together, but let's say we kept the three and passed the four. If we get everything we want, we might have to pass like numbers. So I would break it up and pass like that. That way we have a three four. It's still a bit risky, but not as risky as passing like numbers. So here I would play a year hand. I rolled a seven. That's West, player three. We have ooh, pair twos and a three with dots, one four in bams, one two six eight in cracks. Multiples would be Punga East, pair twos. What would you play here? And what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I would focus here on the east. East and west with twos. If we get flowers, maybe even a quint. You might think, well, what about two, four, six, eight? We don't have the right four. We do have a six, eight, but no four dot. And that I think would be the only potential hand under two, four, six, eight, second hand down. I would not do that. There's a big gap and we'd have to throw away a pung at east. I'd rather build around it. Even if we play east and west with twos, we'd have to throw away one but we're leveraging the multiples just the same. East and west with twos. Yeah, we have a gap of no flowers. Surely we would draw one during the game. I think that's what I would do here. East and west with twos. Discard one of each suit. I think that would be my first pass. East and West with twos, maybe a quint, maybe wins, all wins, sacrifice the two as joker bait maybe, depending on how things go, but I would definitely build around here first.
I rolled a two, so we're gonna be player two. Joker, Flowers, Pair East, two dot one eight in BAMs, two four five pair eight in cracks. What would you play and what would be your first pass for these tiles? If I were playing this hand, I think I would try a quint. Second hand down under quints. Flowers, wins, number tile. Kong, quint, quint. As a backup, I think I might hold the four for a potential consecutive run if we don't get more jokers. Four, five. really building around the five and the flowers, maybe the quint. So I think I would pass one of each suit. Anytime I have multiples like this, I think about that quint. We only have one joker, but I think that could be doable. It's always good to have a plan B though when your multiples are light like this. Plan B, consecutive run. You know what I just thought? Instead of consecutive run, addition. Oh, this is the wrong tile. We need a three, not a two. Never mind. I think I would go back. Eight, five, 13. If we had a seven, I think I might keep the twos. But since we don't have a seven, I wouldn't try addition. When you get your dealt hand, look for the strength of those tiles. If you have multiples, build around multiples. You could also build around the predominant pattern. Gather tiles that support whichever strategy you choose. And then when you run out of discards, pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls. For American Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.